some of these people were lucky and some of them weren't um, because you still have you hear they, it didn't jump this way but they've had damage done didn't just yeah. took out that one so and then Spears. And see some of these areas they're saying these people can't rebuild in it. Where people walk and along it um, and in between the houses it actually literally says high pressure um, uh, with gas lines and stuff like that. Be you know careful and stuff like that. But yes in our living areas and stuff like that you'll find them. Even where we are I think there's a few in between. So did that affect the fire situation? I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did, because if you have any of those lines that have been destroyed by the heat of the fire, it would escalate the situation, because those lines are still active. We are in Fort McMurray, who has mm -hmm. lost 80,000 people. Things. Mm -hmm. Fort McMurray is such big news, mm -hmm. they're dying to see something. Mm -hmm. Something sweet. The talking tree is about you making this pieces of the tree that we're going to make as, as an installation mm -hmm. and so as you tell your story and while you're knitting it actually makes sense that you know as you I see your mind takes you to this knitting repetition you can also just tell your story as if it's just you know just you're passing your time but talking makes it a good tool for you to release some of those maybe tension some of those pent up emotions mm -hmm. and like this you also get to socialize and get to say hi to your friends who you haven't talked for a while but that way gives you a way to connect and connection is the most important thing that we need to you know to feel supported are you really taking that yeah that's that's how it is that's the that's the idea of the talking tree you tell your story but it's a story of making yourself connected right you you tell your story not because you wanted to brag of anything but you wanted to connect and have that connection Established while you're find the human commonness, you mean? Exactly. Come together to find commonness as human yeah. beings. Yeah, and also just to express yourself in a safe yeah. place. Yes. So that is, I actually like this because when you're doing something, your mind is is focused on doing this, and your story seems to be just a secondary thing. Yeah. And it's not as scary to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. of That's right. You have journey. it. You got it. That's it. Right? That's absolutely it. <laughs> Does that make sense? It's, that's what it's about. Yeah. Evelyn's idea well, is yeah. that way. You're, I'm sure she's in total agreement with you. So you have helped people in that way? Yeah. And, and it's not something that you can just, you know, la label into like, this is a mental mental issue type of thing we're going to tackle. No, it's, it's just simply making that connection because when you're connected, that's when you slowly trust the process of healing, you know, inter internally. When you feel so displaced, that's when you, your brain just release a lot of cortisol. I love this. I love this one. I haven't knit before. But essentially, it's but like how our grandmothers would have done, yeah. right? When they were living their lives, sitting down with their friends and talking about their lives and getting off the stress and then getting on with life again. Yeah. And Ray and Evelyn are very awesome and generous with their time mm -hmm. to come and explore with us a process that is time-tested, that is, you know, very, very soothing. What was your experience? Very fitting to the to the moment. And of course, it's nice to meet new people, new faces, new friends. And as we are a community, we are strong together. But we wanted to put faces on those, in, you know, behind the strength, right? Charcoal. Oh, the trees. Tell them how are you making out? Putting your hook in the top of the tree, and you guys are knitting sections are going to be put into this tree. I was, and mine is going to be like the tight one because I don't <laughs> I try to I, I try to strive to make it really loose. 
Right. Men, I would consume a lot of yarn. I'm telling you now. Really? Yeah. So even that is like, Rain, you're so pent up. <laughs> my my knitting that is just because I do. I used to do um, crochet. And, and so that translates to this, like my my yarn are so close together, like tight. Yeah, they're scared to like let go. My this is your place. This is your okay. place to down. Yeah. Okay. This is so uh, Fort Mac. Mm -hmm. Right in the heart of it. Okay, let's go for it. Fort Mac da dance is in this gallery. What kind of music they like? Look at how celebration. That's why we came here to try and yes, get happy. Right. Get happy. Mm. So, mm. Mm. so we're working on it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got to make it closer. See, you're clipping along. That's it. It's too tight. It's too tight. Mm. <laughs> this girl cannot let go. Mm. Loosen, loosen up, loosen up. No, I'm trying to loosen up. <laughs> you need to let go. You need to let go. Let go, let go, let go. Let go, let go. Loosen up. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Loosen up. We need to let go. Go, go, when I saw the fires happening here, and I had this tree made in Australia in a seniors community center, I said, oh, that's been 2005, 10 years ago, it's been sitting in the cupboard. So I put it in the mail, and we showed it in Vancouver, and had artists knitting, 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 and talking, which Ray has reported. And uh, then here, it's an installation. It's here for a few months, or maybe longer. But it's like the focus for storytelling, exchanging ideas, and through that, a healing. You know yeah. what I mean? You're talking oh, yeah. about your problems, yeah. and everybody wants talking about yeah. what's happening, and your children, True. And fire, mm. and so it's so here all the time. Me? What? Yeah. This project is here. This project is here to continue. We we'll leave tomorrow evening, and uh, Anastasia and everything will do what is needed. These knitting needles will stay. This wool will stay. We need somebody who could say yes. We like to sit here once or twice a week and keep knitting. Yeah. Then all I'm going to make a plan. If you knit panels, maybe six foot long, mm -hmm. this wide, stitch them together, put another hoop, and there'll be another tree here. Yeah, That's what the idea is. That each one of these that you knit has stories recorded that Ray has already recorded. Oh, but I think okay. we'll keep that one as the main video recording, because you don't need three monitors in this room. No, no, no. But more trees can be knit in this room. Yes, this you need to let go. You need to let go. <laughs> One of the things I found with everybody uh, donating, and we've been buying wool, Ray and I, at different Salvation Armies. Yeah. And I wanted like lots of green, and then I wanted red and oranges for the Abutus tree trunk. Yeah. But the combination of the various wools together, some of it's shiny, some of it's synthetic, is uh, makes it a very, you know, kind of interesting mix. Yeah. So I'm going to, I've got a couple of pieces that I've left at home that I want to actually make more tree-like so that the branches when the person is wearing it have hoops on the end of the sleeves and they can hold them up with bamboo pole, like poles okay. so that all of a sudden it's there but then the branches come up and it becomes more tree-like.
here. We can add. You see, you can keep knitting. We've got lots of greens. You can dye it. And like this maybe took a couple hours. You know, that's it. The needle is so big. It's fun. It's funky. Looks funky. And we knit and knit in Vancouver. We got more. have a very thin thread. If you want to have more, you can uh, come over here and get another ball. So, I'm going to start. And this is a very contemplative, nice little act. Okay? So I have one, two, three, four. And they're different shades of green. And I'm going to do First plain stitch. You go in to the front, and then catch your wool and put it to the front, pull it through the loop, pull it out, and take it off onto this needle. Just one movement. In through the front, around the back, pull it to the front and over. It's all it is. Into the front, catch your stitch, pull it forward and out. And I'll go around with some of you that may want to work on this one. Difficult. You think you can have this one? So hold your hands here. Right, wrap this around. And this. Grab it, grab this one. Grab this one. And now watch how he does it. Watch it. Do not do it again. Watch, I'm going to show you. Look, do what he's doing. Oh, I found it. That was way too hard. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. It's okay.
Someday 